Hello, my name is Victor Sandoval and I'm a senior staff cloud solutions architect with VMware. In this video, we're going to be creating an, an AVS layer 2 network segment for your environment. Let's get started. First, let's establish the basics of how NSX is architecture inside of your AVS environment. When you first deploy AVS, you get two NSX edges created by default. The first one is a T0 perimeter edge, which is Microsoft is, is owned and managed by Microsoft. This edge is connected to two types of environments. Northbound is the physical Azure infrastructure, which is managed by Microsoft and transparent to the end user. And southbound, the logical network space, which is where the tenants or the customers do their day-to-day -day operations. By default, you get an, an, a T1 customer edge created by default. You can choose to leave this edge if, if you desire, or you can create multiple T1 edges southbound of the tier zero. We will cover in more detail advanced network architectures in, in later videos. For this demonstration, we are gonna be creating two network segments, a blue segment and a red segment. The blue segment is going to have the IP address of 10.254.254.1/24, and the second segment is going to be having uh, a, another IP range with 10.254.253.1. There are two ways you can provision networks in Azure VMware Solution. You can either deploy the segments through NSX or the Azure portal. I will walk you through both of these processes in this video. First, let's provision our red segment through NSX. We need to log into the Azure portal, select our private cloud where we want to deploy our network segment. Navigate to the Identity tab, copy the URL for NSX, open a new tab and navigate to the NSX UI. You can gather the credentials from the Credentials tab to log in as NSX admin. Once we are logged into NSX, click on Segments on the Networking menu, click Add Segment, and enter a unique name for your segment. Next, select the gateway you want to connect your segment to. The default gateway is typically named T48. If you want your network to be isolated or perhaps have duplicate IP space, you can select none. It is important to note that this option will not give you any routing functionality since the segment will be isolated and non-routable. Next, enter the IP address of your default gateway in any DHCP settings you want to configure. Select Save when finished. Now that our segment has been created, we should be able to see and consume the segment through vCenter. You can open the vCenter by gathering the information on the Identity tab. Once you are logged in, you should be able to see your newly created segment. From here, you can assign virtual machines to the pro group. We will provision our second network segment through the Azure portal. To perform this operation, simply navigate to the Segment tab under Virtual Networking on your private cloud. In this window, we can see all of the segments provisioned on our private and cloud, regardless if they were created through the Azure portal or NSX. To create a new segment, click on the Add button and enter a unique segment name, an IP for the gateway, and any DHCP settings you wish to configure. Keep in mind that this method requires you to maintain Azure naming standards, which means spaces are not allowed for your segment name. One of the benefits of this process is that you don't have to give NSX admin privileges to users to create segments. This process can be done through the Azure credentials. Now that our two networks have been created, these can be managed and consumed via NSX or Azure portal and attached to VMs via vCenter. This concludes our video tutorial. If you like the content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel.